Welcome to episode number three. How do you write a song parody and spending Shabbat in far out places? I'm Lenny Solomon, and this is The Lenny Solomon Show. Welcome to The Lenny Solomon Show. And first, a word from our sponsor. The other day I was in Los Angeles and a guy said to me, I learned more Hebrew from Schlockrock than I did from any of my teachers from any religious schools. When the rabbis ask me, how do you know this? I say Schlockrock. Some of you might think, ah, what do I need this for? What do I need this? It's just, it's not a necessity, it's a luxury. And I would tell you otherwise. Informal Jewish education is a necessity in today's world with the agenda of the secular bombarding you wherever you go, in movies, in YouTube videos, in television shows. You need something to give you a foundation. And that brings us to the Four Corners Project, the sponsor for today's show. The Four Corners Project, a 501c3 not-for-profit organization whose mission is to reach the Jews scattered to the four corners of the world through music and media, the ultimate in informal Jewish education. Go over to the website, www.fourcornersproject.org, and support the work of the Four Corners Project, because Jewish pride keeps you going strong. And now, to our show. How do you write a parody song? A lot of times people send me emails and they say, Lenny, I wrote this parody, and then I take a look at it, and it's terrible. And of course I don't tell them that, because you don't want to insult them. So you have to give them constructive criticism. You see, to get, to write a perfect song parody, you have to get into the head of the original artist. The original artist becomes a Jew, and he has to tell the message of whatever you want to say in his meter and in his rhythm. Therefore, every single lyric that you write has to rhyme. I'll give you an example. On the Schlockrock Almost on Broadway album, I did a, a lyric from Greece. Summer loving had me a blast. Summer loving had me a blast. And I wrote, some who love him don't really last. So some who love him don't really last. Summer loving had me a blast. Right? It has to mirror the original lyric. And so that brings us to the Broadway album. The year was 2003, and I had done by that time, a good 20 albums or so, and I knew it was time for a Broadway album. And the first song that came to my head was Soup and Chala, Super Califragilistic Expialidocious. And I wrote, Soup and Chala Candlesticks, Kiddushit is delicious. You know what? Let me show it to you on the piano. Soup and Chala, the key is mirroring the lyric, as so. Ah, soup and challah, candlesticks, eat this shit is delicious. Every Shabbat meal we eat is really quite nutritious. Can I have some chicken served on Ema's special dishes? Soup and challah, candlesticks, eat this shit is delicious. The little lamb that lie, I'm the little lamb that lie. The little lamb that lie, I'm the little lamb that lie. When I was a little boy, I felt really glad. I looked forward to Shabbat meals because every one I had would be a great experience and put me in the know. Listen to the singing and you think you're at a show. Soup and chala candlesticks, keep this shit is delicious. Every Shabbat meal we eat, really quite nutritious. Can I have some chicken served on Ema's special dishes? Soup and chala candlesticks, keep this shit is delicious. Na 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 Hey! Stories from the road. Well, you just heard Soup and Chala, which is a song about the Shabbat, Sabbath, or Shabbos. So let me tell you about a couple of places that I stayed for Shabbat in far out places. For instance, Ballarat, Australia. Yes, I went in 1986 and 87 on a program called Counterpoint, which was sponsored by Yeshiva University and I was the band. And what happened was we would spend Shabbat in this camp. This camp was in Ballarat, Australia, freezing cold. It was the winter in Australia, but the summer in New York. Another far out place that I spent Shabbat in was Paris, South Africa, where I went to South Africa for a outreach program called Encounter, and we went to this city called Paris. It was like a campground. The city was so small, they would close up at 7 p.m. The lights would go off, the city was closed at 7 p.m. That's what it was like. I want to hear from you about the great places that you've spent, the strange locations that you spent Shabbat. Send me an email at Lenny at fourcornersproject.org. Hope you had a great podcast. See you next time. I'm Israel Chai.